Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do two fall farmhouse country signs. These two signs are probably two of my favorite signs I've created for the fall season and I can't wait to share them with you. So let's get crafting guys. For this project, I'm going to use a piece out of that calendar from Dollar Tree and this Happy Thanksgiving accordion pumpkin sign. I'm also going to be using Waverly and Plaster. And these calendars make such great projects. I absolutely love them. And this one has so many inspirational co quotes. And it had one with some fall leaves and greenery. And it said, thankful and blessed. And I thought this would be really cool to put on that pumpkin accordion sign. And kind of revamp it and really make it look rustic farmhouse country. So first I took off the hanger and I removed the whatever I guess ribbon <laughs> that's attached to the back to kind of it gives it like that accordion look and it gives little gaps in between the sign so you're going to want to remove all of that take out the staples which is super simple and then I just sanded it down the holes if you sand them down they absolutely disappear I didn't think I would see them anyway but just in case so flip your sign over and a quick tip, use a Sharpie and number them. Then you know exactly what order that they go in. And then I took that Waverly and plaster and I just gave it one, co one coat. I was hoping that maybe this would kind of help hide the calendar that's on the back of this picture, um, that you wouldn't see it, but you could still see it just a little bit, but the next step kind of takes all that away. So now we're going to flip that sign or flip the calendar page. I'm losing track already. <laughs> and we're going to start tracing on the back of the calendar page. So you're going to take each piece and you're going to trace it on the back. And then you're going to take the next piece. You're going to line it up with the existing line that you've already created. So it's just one cut line. And then you're going to trace around that piece piece and just keep going until you reach the top using the same line every single time. So to make this easy, I'm going to do one at a time. I'm only going to cut one piece off of the calendar and I'm going to Mod Podge it to the existing accordion sign piece. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. And we're just going to do this one at a time. That way it doesn't get confusing and you stay in line with the calendar piece and the piece of sign, if that makes any sense. So I'm starting with the top. I'm going to put some Mod Podge down and I'm going to put that piece of the sign attached to it. And then I'm going to take number two and I'm going to cut the next piece off the calendar and that goes on number two. So on and so on until I reach the bottom.
Now I'm going to take a sanding disc and some fine grit sandpaper. The sanding disc, I'm going to go around the outside edges and sand those down really rough. That will get all the excess paper off of the edges and it will also give it some distressing where it kind of looks like the paper doesn't go all the way to the edge and it makes it look like a little bit of wood is showing. And then coming back in with a fine grit sandpaper, I am going to go over each individual piece, really sanding it down, kind of making it blend in with the sign. And this is also taking the glossiness off of that calendar page. So it just looks like one cohesive piece. Some of the paint does run just a little bit. The printer um, ink, not paint, printer ink, runs a little bit, but it gives it so much style and character. And this is probably my ultimate favorite sign ever because it just turned out so cute. You can sand as much or as little as you want until you have the desired look you're going for. I love rustic country, so I tend to maybe sand a little bit more than normal, <laughs> but it really turned out cute in the end. Now we're going to take some thicker jute string and we're just going to wrap it around the stem of this pumpkin. Starting in the back with some hot glue, attach your jute and just wrap it all the way around till you get to the top, ending on the back so that you can add a little bit more hot glue to secure it. Now it's time to assemble your sign and that's when those numbers come into play again to help you because you know exactly how to set it up in order. So to flip your sign around, set it up in the order that it goes in and then I used that thick jute string again and I just measured it and then cut two pieces. Now the first um, piece at the top, I did use my staple gun to secure it. Since this is an accordion sign, I knew that working with it, if I just tried hot gluing it, it would probably move on me. And I was trying to get the spacing the same as I went down the sign. So I secured the top piece with my staple gun. Then I came down to the second piece. I held on to both pieces, added some hot glue, and pushed down with my little silicone tool um, until it was secured into the hot glue. And I kept doing that all the way down, making sure that my spacing was the same, holding both, adding hot glue, and then securing it down. So beautiful. It looks like it's been painted on. I took a little bit of twine and I stapled a piece right at the stem so that it would be hidden behind the stem and added a little more hot glue just to keep it down flat. And that's how you can hang your sign. And then I just took some burlap ribbon and I made a simple little bow and I hot glued it right under the stem.
so stinking cute oh my goodness this looks like a sign you would find at hobby lobby or michael's or i don't know i think it just looks high end does not look like a dollar tree sign and i think it looks absolutely gorgeous with my fall decor so on to sign number two So for the second sign, we're going to be using another calendar, a pumpkin sign from Dollar Tree, and the plaster again in Waverly. I just absolutely love the plaster color. It's a little, I guess, darker than white, but not as creamy as cream. <laughs> so we're going to take our pumpkin sign, we're going to take off that cute little leaf and save it for a future project and take off the hanger. I did use some spackle and I filled in the holes, which now I wish I wouldn't have because I could have used those to put the hanger back on. <laughs> so I don't know why I did that. And then I added three coats of this plaster paint to the back of the sign. So out of the calendar, I ripped off November. And I'm using November because when I think of fall, of course I think of like September because that's when fall starts. But for pumpkins and gourds and all that fall decor, I really think of like Thanksgiving time. So I thought this should say November. And I wanted this sign to be like super rustic country. Like it's been sitting in a barn for years and was discovered <laughs> and brought into your decor. I absolutely love rustic farmhouse. So I am really making this one rustic. So I'm cutting the calendar and then I'm cutting out the November part. It was a 2021 calendar and I didn't want it to say the year. That's why I'm cutting out the November. I put this the calendar on top of my sign and kind of just rubbed around the edges so I knew where to cut. Then I cut it out and Mod Podged it to the sign, just like I did with the first sign. And then I just came in and started sanding. I used that sanding disc to do the outside edges, just like I did in the first time. And then I came back in with some fine sandpaper. Now, I really wanted this to be beat up beat up rustic <laughs> and if I was a little too forceful and I pulled up the calendar I just went back in with some hot glue and not the Mod Podge and if I ripped a little bit too much I used hot glue again just to fix little mistakes as I went it worked perfect with the hot glue and then I didn't have to wait for the Mod Podge to dry but I really beat the sign up I ripped certain parts of that calendar off and I just sanded it down and then I came back in with that disc and I went around the edges on the sign part that I painted just to add some texture and um, really distress the heck out of this.
Once I had beat it up, <laughs> I came in with some Annie Sloan dark wax and I went over the whole sign, really giving it a really nice coat of wax. If you don't have any, then you could take some brown paint and add some water to it and just go over the whole sign. I, like I said, I wanted this to look like um, dirty and distressed and rustic and just have a really old vintage look to it so the extra burlap i had left over from my bow i hot glued it around the stem of the pumpkin and then i came in with some twine to make the hanger I wanted some knots in front, but my twine was just too thin. So when I tied it in a knot, I didn't like the way it looked. So I went and got my thicker jute string and I tied a knot in the jute and then I cut the tails off of it. I only wanted the knot part. So you'll see me adding the twine and then I come back in with the thicker jute just two little knots to put on the front and I thought that made this look really cute. So rustic country. I love the pumpkin. I love that hint of the calendar on there. This is so cute hanging on the wall. I hung it on my ladder, which was so cute hanging from the ladder. But this would also be cute like in the background and have decor in front of it because it just has that hint of that calendar on it because it's been sanded. I absolutely love this sign and it's so unique and original and you won't find it in everybody's home decor which I absolutely love trying to think outside the box for different projects this one is absolutely gorgeous with that color the colors of the leaves and the subtleness and how it's an accordion these signs are just darling and they'll be perfect with my fall decor I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please consider subscribing to my channel ring that bell for future notifications and hit that thumbs up button. It really helps my channel out. It lets YouTube know you like it and others might too. I hope you all are having a wonderful and blessed day and I'll see you again soon. Bye y'all.